Cristo Hay Spirituality Center, or Sacre as it's called, is a historic building founded by Jesuit priests, originally serving as the space where philosophy and theology courses were taught. It is now a spiritual retreat and conference center. Our food was grown on the ground, so fresh fruit were a part of every meal. They look a lot like turkeys. Yeah, <laughs> that's true. Since I got to Brazil just before Carnival, for the first week, I was the only guest that first few days. There were no televisions in our room, so if I wanted to watch television, I had to go to the television room. And apparently no one did that much because no one could tell me how to make the television work. my room. here on this balcony again in the sun since I was the only one there and it felt like the only one in town I explored the building and I found several chapels and several classrooms
wash something after having been there for a couple of weeks. And I asked where the laundry room was. I was pointed down the hall and given very clear directions, which I thought I had followed until I couldn't find the washing machine. I went back and was told that there was no washing machine and pointed to this as where I was to wash my clothes. A bit of a culture shock, I must confess. Activities, the representative from the consulate here mentioned that she sang in a choir and that her dad was a former pastor. So I was like, oh, great. That's someone I can go that can take me to church while I'm here. And so it wasn't until I know probably a week later that it occurred to me that the service will probably be in Portuguese. And I don't speak Portuguese yet. So... I was a little sad when I thought about that, but today, as I was walking through here, I think there's some kind of conference going on, and I overheard the singing, and um, so I was like, I went to the director to see if it were a private event or if it were open, and he said, oh, it's no problem for me to go in, and so I went in, and it was nice because they said the Lord's Prayer, and it was a Catholic service, so of course um, some things are pretty consistent with most Catholic services, so I could tell when we got to the Lord's Prayer, and I know that, and, um, and then they surprised me with a chorus that they sang that really I was surprised to find is worldwide in a way that I didn't understand before today. So that was really neat. And I got to take communion. So, um, so it was a, a really good start to today.